That it is, aye, that it is, how are we doing today, and that was way too dark in the background, there we go, actually, obviously you want the red vibe, don't want the red vibe, or don't want another vibe today, that's the question, because yesterday I did have the nice colour change, now I keep a red for the Marvel theme, why not, and fright light on, evening, oh, hello Kerry, evening, Good evening to you, darling. I don't wanna. How bright or dark do I want this? Is the question. If I switch that off. I think I'll leave it like that. Oh, that looks alright. Mm. Oh, this is the thing when you've done media for four years, so of course you pay attention to stuff like lighting and camera angles and stuff like that. <laughs> All the shit I learned in that course in college, for like four years. Not well, college anyway, it's two years ago, two years ago. Uni. But still, studying the same buildings, just class out of the uni stuff. I don't know. I think that looks alright anyway, as it is. But good to see our Carrie and Savage and everyone else up in the chat, and I got a random pain in my elbow. I was about to say shoulder. That's not a shoulder, that's an elbow. I don't want it's just like a, as if I hit my bone against something by elephant. Oh. I'm offended a 30 second. Ah, that's just rude. Oof. Fair enough, that is just rude, yes. Sorry, I do have ads on because I'm affiliate. I do try to I do try to make it so that you get the least amount of ads as possible on my streams. I always try like I have a set up so I have the least amount of ads possible. I'm doing absolutely alright, Neil. I'm doing well, I'm chilling my friends. I'm doing completely calm today myself. Like today I'm calm. Because like yesterday day before that was kind of uh. <laughs> doing good, you're doing good. You're doing good, Savage. Is my boy doing good? I love when my boy does good I publish and confirm that. I'm used to add for free and well. Oh if you mean at the very beginning, yes, I do run a minute and thirty seconds with ads at the very beginning when I don't talk at all. And that's I do that 
Because for the first, I believe, hour or so, there's no ads at all for anyone in. So then, for the first, like, at least two minutes, I might ask you every day. Yeah, I did see. I saw Batman on Sat. I saw it on, on Saturday. I believe I, I saw it on the 5th of March. I saw it a few days ago. And I absolutely loved it myself. Because I loved it because it focused more on the detective side of Batman in the story. Obviously, I'm not going to get too much into the spoilers. You know me. You guys, uh, Neil knows me. I talk about movies all the time, but I don't get into the story side of things. But I loved it. Because I loved how it actually got into the detective side of Batman. Don't get me wrong, I love all the Batman movies and stuff like that. But most people, like, obviously I'm a hardcore Batman fan myself. I play the games, I read the comics, watch the shows and the movies. But most common audience is, like, for example, my mother. My mother is slightly into superheroes, but she's only into, um, via the movies. So I love how this movie, because I actually watched this movie with my mother on the, on my on our birthday. Uh, on the birthday, um... Weekend, because I was, I was um, it was the fifth of March. It was two days after my birthday. It was one of the things I did with my mother over that birthday weekend with family. It was when we went to see Batman together, and um, glad to see a funny face. I'm glad you get to see this friendly Welshman face. But um, I loved it because it focused way more on the detective side of things. Now, also, if you guys like. If you're a gamer or read comics or watch shows, they know how about Batman's detective side quite well. But the movies never really went to the Batman's detective side too much. Like I have, also well, I have all the Batman movies, but yeah, from you know I have Tim Burton's Batman, I have Batman Returns, you know Batman Forever, Batman and Robin, the Dark Knight trilogy. Um, don't get me wrong, those are all great Batman movies. Like as a Batman fan, I love them in their own right. But I love this newest film because it just focused way more on his detective side. He was much more detective, a lot more throughout there, and I love that. Because, you know, Batman isn't just a puncher, he is the world's greatest detective within his, his respective universe. He is classed, he's always been said to be the world's greatest detective. I, no, I actually do agree with you then, you know. He, he, was, he was never Bruce Wayne at all, because Bruce Wayne obviously is the... I think Christian Bale is definitely the best Bruce Wayne, I would say out of all the Bruce Waynes myself. I like Christian Bale's as Bruce Wayne. But yeah, he was a brilliant Batman, but even when he was Bruce Wayne, he wasn't really Bruce Wayne, was he? He was like, he was still like very like dark and serious. He wasn't like the billionaire playboy philanthropist, you know, pretending to be that outside of everything, was he? So I get what you mean. Like, Robert Pattinson didn't really betray the Bruce Wayne things. Emo Bruce Wayne. Yeah, exactly. Emo Bruce Wayne. But that's that's the thing. Um, there is... You know. Dad, I loved her personally for the detective side of things when he was Batman. I love that they at least focus on the detective side of the character a lot more. A lot of the for Batman. Yeah, no vision of the character. And I hope that if they do when, because um, obviously this the sequel based in another Batman movie. Um, I hope if they do get around to actually doing a Batman thing, maybe they like obviously this one focuses on more the detective side as well. I hope they focus more. Maybe maybe they can. Robert, Robert Pattinson could probably do a good Bruce Wayne if they give them a chance. But this movie was definitely extremely 100% Batman focused. Anyway. Like, I think he was only Bruce Wayne for maybe two or three, like, actually Bruce Wayne. Like, because there were times where he was, like, outside the suit, but he was so pretty much with Batman. But, like, what if they ever made him as Moon Knight is out at the end of March too? Oh, yeah, Moon Knight's coming out as well. And then, then we have Mobius. And then Doctor Strange. I don't want to have DC-wise. I know Peacemaker's been running along. I've not watched it yet. I probably will watch it on the binge. When I vibe it, but like yeah, no. Either way, I'm interested to like see what DC may do because I don't know what DC's planning now anymore. Because the Peacemaker is connected to Suicide Squad, which is connected to the DC multi-first thing they're doing. But now they're doing the Batman, which I think originally is meant to be a prequel to Ben Affleck's Batman, which is the Justice League's Batman. But I don't know if that is a thing anymore. 
Because there's like no hint that he was the same Batman really. You could literally class them both as separate Batman. So obviously I'm not too sure what DC's doing with Batman character now. Because, um, what's it? Yeah. Yeah, we had the Riddler in the Batman, because that was about it. And then the Justice League, and Batman Fist of Superman, I believe we only ever had the Joker. Again, I don't know what DC's doing with it. <laughs> Hopefully they will actually keep to this Batman now, or keep to whatever they're doing. Because that's the thing, DC keeps on, like, cancelling projects, I think. I'm actually interested, what type, like, are they just doing, like, all different stories, or can I come from different universes, or what? So you have the Titans universe, which I believe is separate from the DC multiverse, not multiverse universe, the Justice, like, Justice League universe. So I don't know what uh, DC's doing at this point. Obviously Marvel's all consistent, but DC, so, uh, uh hmm. Out of all the possible combos, I think this is one of the ones I could comment on the least. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I got nerdy mode a lot, especially with me and Neil, because me and Neil talk movies all the time, don't we? Because me and Neil, we're both, pretty much every, yeah, me, me and you, Neil, we're pretty much since, the, since day one of me streaming, we always seem to always talk about superhero movies or TV shows whenever they release, don't they? <laughs> We always, yeah, yeah, exactly. We always like talk ever since you've watched me as a streamer, and since we've become friends and whatnot. Most of the conversations we have are to do with superheroes, or I think we talked about Boba Fett the other week, didn't we? Because I came out as well, so sci fi. Busy stuff I'm a nerd of, I talk about. We were talking about Star Wars stuff like a few weeks back when Boba Fett was airing, and when that ended. <laughs> At least I remember talking about it on stream at some point. And obviously, today I'm going to be playing Guardians of the Galaxy, which is a Marvel game which literally came up on Game Pass today anyway. And Assassin's Creed, yes, and I guess, yeah, we talked about Assassin's Creed as well. Just vibing to the vibes, is it? To the music. Got that lovely music in the background. Yeah, I always have a bit of music, this is chill dude. This is what I do at the beginning of the streams. So I just like chatting with you for like 10 minutes first before I actually start any gameplay. It's always good to just chat with you guys, so, you know, face to face. Tweet this, once you go emo you never go back, it's called it in my skin, the emo comes again. You be streaming Guardians as well, nice. Like I said, I, I, I've, I did pick up Guardians myself because I peeled at Avengers and that was kind of a bad game in my personal opinion. Control C. I do love that thing you put a Savage. I don't class myself as emo, I class myself more as a punk person and an emo person myself. A soft punk. That's why I identify as an old in old culture. And exclamation T I hate dyslexia. W I T T E R Twitter. This is my Twitter when you see my latest tweet, which I just post out because Savage wanted me to tweet it. So there you go. I love the whole crawl in there though. Like um Yeah. <laughs> Oh well. And I think it's time for the games. Oh, well that's great. Wait a minute. What? Okay, that's great. Yeah, audio's working fine. Why the hell? Okay, give me a minute while I try and figure out my game. Yeah, but display capture is that, yeah. Okay, I need to probably learn how Twitch works. I got confused with something, I'm not sure what. Fair enough. I don't actually want display capture because when I do that, when I do the check on settings, you guys can see that. I don't want display capture, I want game capture, which it captures the actual, like. Where the hell is it it's not working for me? I have not had this problem in a while. Ah, life of a streamer. I'm gonna put music back on while I try and fix this issue. Here quickly. Um, can I go to this properties? Babanakum Origins. Yeah, no, game capture. No, I don't. 
No, I see console. Yeah, console bay. Yeah, so properties. Gato. Okay, I guess I have to add a new video capture device. Yeah. I want to capture Elgato. Custom. Resolution, I want to be 1080p. Match output FPS. Okay. We don't mean to shrink that down. Ah, work down you. I know, right? Gotta love it. Lock that in. My audio test. Right. Pause the music. Okay, you guys can't hear audio device. Okay, there we go. That works. I for streamer, sometimes I encounter issues like that constantly. And that's actually really quiet, it's gonna turn up to about 80. If it goes loud, I'll just turn it down, but here we go. Alright, English, English, yes. Brightness. 80, I think that's fine. Open. Subtitles. Audio. License audio. Streamer mode on. There we go. That's good. I'm like I like that because that helps me a lot as a streamer. So I'll turn the music down to about eighty percent though. Advanced audio. No, that's fine. Subtitles. Subtitle size medium. Blah blah blah. Audio controls accessibility. Auto win quick time events. Bypasses quick time events in games. I actually like do quick time events, I might leave that on. Auto lock the next target. Yeah, why not? I wanna leave that one on though. Yeah, I think that's good. <laughs> Square Enix, yeah. Like I said, I didn't pick this game up because I did pre-order Avengers and that kind of left a bad taste in my mouth. But I did hear good things about this one compared to Avengers, so... Let's see. I remember actually reacting to this at E3 and when I streamed out on Twitch when I was watching the E3 announcements or the games for stuff. And it did look alright at the time, so it was like... I didn't want to pick up because Avengers was making me be like, eh. This game uses auto save, nice. Good, a game that uses auto save because the last game I played, I had to like save manually constantly. Well, Guardians of the Galaxy. Accept. Accept. Continue. Continue. I connect in my own time, probably. Account link in screen X connect screen X servers. I do have a screen X account because like I didn't make one for Avengers when they released that game. Why well, turns out we have to wait for this. Have we done frames? Okay, good. We only dropped from at the very beginning, which I didn't notice when I did stop stream. Got eleven minute frame. I didn't care about. It. No, same savage. Like I pre-ordered the game because because like was it what games? Uh, other few games I pre-ordered in my life. I pre-ordered Spider-Man PS4, Spider-Man Miles Morales, Legend of Zelda, which are the only ones I've actually ever enjoyed playing. Because the Legend of Zelda was a remaster of the one I grew up on on the Wii. The Spider-Man games are absolutely fantastic. Avengers, I regret pre-ordering. I kind of wish I never pre-ordered. And it came to Game Pass eventually, anyway. In its own way. I was like, eh. I kind of wish... It was one of those few games I wish I didn't pre-order. Which is why I would have pre-ordered this game, but I decided not to. Um, right. Saturn, so already been sorted anyway. New game. Are you ready to face the guys? You must double even for. Yeah, playing regular difficulty. Yeah, normal's fine. What's this? This. What was my Oh, yeah, I'm 
mine now. Guardian's cooldown. Oh, you can literally customize. That's interesting, actually. You can customize the difficulty. Ah. I'll leave it at that. Next. Guardians. Yeah, start game, I guess. Right, so this should. Pl this song playing it should be copyright free, right? Should be streamer safe music. According to. Um, the game. I like that. That's my type of music that was in as well. Someone I would definitely listen to. <laughs> Little rock. Quill. Wish the streamer mode thing on top wasn't visible. But it's good and only streamer mode is on. So it should be safe from any copyright stuffs. Music rock, music plays. Well then, stone, sadly. <laughs> Oh hell yeah. I love this. Show. Could pop a rock on there, right? Right, yeah, so Star Lord achieves. Is Star Lord an actual like band or is it something that's made for the game? I wanna have a look this up. I'm sorry, but the uh, if Star Lord is a band, uh, an actual band, I definitely need to give them a listen. I'm guessing it's just for the game, but I still wanna have a look. Because you know the cats got Star Lord. Star Lord bands. Yeah, it's just for the, it's just for the game. But it's actual music I can listen to, so I'm gonna definitely add them to my playlist. So it's just for the game, okay? But it's music I can actually listen to, so I'm definitely gonna buy it. So. No wonder you couldn't hear me. Is that your new tape? Yeah. Oh, audio's a bit off, right? Star Lord. Who's the guy with the scary eyes? He doesn't have a name. He's one of the space riders, and he's not. Yeah, I'm gonna actually have a look at audio settings for a minute. Maybe I, did I do something massive volume uh, license audio? I didn't do anything. Yeah, I think it's just the game's a bit off. Scary. He's cool. Your space rider certainly got his hands full. Yeah, it's a bit off. Hmm. Pretty <laughs> far out. Nobody says far out anymore, Ma. <laughs> Ma. What? Nobody says far out anymore. Actually, oh, I think that out. would be the right day to say it. Or the Maybe 80s. we should see if we could get tickets to see them live. Maybe really? the nineties. Mm -hmm. Your mom may not look it, but I was quite the rocker when I was your age. Your father <laughs> and I, we'd just lie on the hood of my old Chevy and listen to Black Sabbath and- You like Black Sabbath? Mm. Like I said, your mom's cooler than you think. <laughs> oh, we'd look up at the stars and he'd tell me all about the places he'd been. Mm. Mom? How about some cake, huh? Yeah, mm. I'll be up in a sec. You said that 15 minutes ago. If you don't hurry, I'm gonna eat that whole cake myself. No, you wouldn't. Yeah, the audio's a bit yes, off. <laughs> you wouldn't. Yes, I would. Hey, watch the hair. <laughs> watch the hair. Oh. Peter! <laughs> We've talked about well. you leaving your toys on the floor. It's not a toy, it's an action figure. More like an action landmine. <laughs> Stab your foot. I will. He doesn't even. Never mind. <laughs> Talk like a. Oh yeah, it's Chewbacca. <laughs> Look at you. Where does time go? 
I'll be up in a sec, I promise. <laughs> right. <laughs> Let's go to bed. I could stay and walk out. Oh no, actually, can we keep the walk music played? Fuck you. Best game, best game, 10 out of 10. Walk and walk. <laughs> so I can just explore the area if I want to do that. Right? Hell yeah, I'm loving this now. <laughs> I love it, I love it. It's a vibe. Get a quill. Get a quill, right. wake up. Hey Drax. Holy crap, Drax. You gotta stop doing this, man. It's weird. You're approaching the quarantine zone. Yeah, the audio is just off. How long was I out for? Fifteen thousand three hundred and thirty-eight ticks. That's very specific. Is this synced up? The betrayer is ready to begin our mission. She has requested your presence. Yeah, no, I was checking the stream. The is on and it's not even synced up on stream. She is the spawn of my sworn enemy, a murderess and a traitor. Mm -hmm. I do not trust her. We'll try. We're <laughs> supposed to be a team. I make no promises. Love that. I actually have some patches on my leather jacket as well, like that. Think of Park AC, DC, Nevada, Green Day, Led Zeppelin. <laughs> and I love the badges as well. I got some badges on my jacket. <laughs> I mean, that would definitely be a jacket I would wear myself. <laughs> that he's got on there. Yeah, the audio's just off a bit, ain't it? <laughs> you know what? Oh, it ain't just the junkyard. The quarantine zone's the biggest pile of galactic war debris in the known universe. Ah, oh, there you are, Quill. Tell mm. Groot to stop worrying about getting arrested. I am Groot. I'm not overconfident. <laughs> I'm just the right level of confident. <laughs> the right level. <laughs> arrested? For what? Our ship just accidentally slipped into the quarantine zone. Oops, our navigation <laughs> malfunctioned. Oops. <laughs> How would we accidentally cross into the Novacore force field? Details. <laughs> <laughs> I do. The jacket is an interesting design now because there's like actually like a bit of padding on the outside parts as well. Oh, no, is that a stylistic choice or is this like an actual quiet, like reminds me of the legendary siege of Seknov 7 uh, meant to make him a bit more like armored in a way held her breath through 10 moons while mm. riding across the stars on the back of a great either way he looks away on him and when she <laughs> Mora? up here Peter hey Gamora hey that's my chair oh then why aren't you in it I was uh strategizing it's one thing to get into the zone we still gotta catch that monster. Right. So did I miss anything? Other than a ton of suspicious glares from Drax, not really. Now, if you're done strategizing, feel free to grab your seat. We're almost ready to go. <laughs> yeah, the audio is not in sync, it seems to be. Morgoth, be with you. Okay, here we go. Right. Right, the game just saved. I'm gonna close when we Rocket open the Groot game. Drax, get in here. Cause like for some reason the audio's really off. I wanna see if doing a quick restart will fix that. I just didn't see the save logo in the top right, so it should be saved today. Cause like it's really off and it's like it's annoying me slightly. It's like well, there's not like dead on. You guys, yeah, video capture device free, which is why this is streaming on, it's working fine. <laughs> but I guess it's like off and it's annoying that the sink is off.
<laughs> Although I do like this game, it took me a while to get used to the character models not looking like they're doing the MCU. No, that's a fair point. Not used to the different looks. Okay. Continue. A locket, good. I think Gamora is the only one that looks like the most. Okay, here like, we go. Her other, she looks more like uh, other designs because I know she looks more like Rocket that. Rocket like, Crew Tracks, get in here. Character. We're going in. We still have a few ticks before the next time window, actually. The next one. Nova Corps security guard resets every rotation. Or just a lot of it. Before our code expires, or we'll get <laughs> stranded. If we wait for the next reset, we'll get a full rotation to do this. Nice. Oh, why is the Novanet still up? Thought we were going in. Well, it appears the assassin's contacts are as untrustworthy as the betrayer herself. Oh, please don't tell me Gamora's backdoor codes are bust. We nearly went broke getting them. Relax, Rocket. We still got a few ticks before the next time window. The network just reset. You can enter the sequence, Peter. Zero four five one. That's it. Four Zero, digits. Four, five, four. Suspicious. These security measures are too simplistic for Novacore. It's not that simple. The code only works on this date for this ship. Oh, I get it. Mm. Gamora's codes are more like an encryption key of some sort, designed to integrate temporal. There. There you go. I do recognize what it means, like some of them do look a bit different, but obviously Gamora looks the least like her MCU counterpart. And Out of all of them. <laughs> sprint! Incredible. <laughs> I realized there was so much stuff left after the war. Restraint wasn't very popular in the Shatari army, especially with Thanos in charge. The Telltale version did look a lot more now. like the MCU I mean, counterpart. Novacore had 12 the years to get game. rid of the heavy duty explosives, right? <laughs> That's why I like you, Quill. You're so pure. Oh, the wonderful and terrible things I could do with all this tech. Stay focused, Ronan. We do not come here to scavenge. Why not? The Milano's weapon systems could use an overhaul. Plus, there's good money in it. The piece that we seek is far more valuable to the Monster Queen of Seknoth 9 than any illegally acquired salvage. Whoa! Oh, place is really shifty. Yeah, I don't like you. I'm not seeing a monster. That big cylinder up ahead looks like the mining ship Peter's friend said to look for. <laughs> friend. Or a knight. And you'll see the monster as soon as we place Rocket's monster <laughs> summoning thingies. Flark, yeah. Group Quill suit up. Team Rocket's up first. Oh, what? I still do I not this game has some choice things as well. I may do a lot more polls in this game. You're like part they of play green team. Games. Assign me to the team before you named it. My skin is not green. It's teal. Teal? <laughs> Listen, if we want to trick the monster into going inside that mining rig, we need to place thumpers on both sides. Two sides, two teams. And two clicks to the drop side. Ground's too unstable to land a ship. You'll need to jump. That's our cue. Let's go, group. <laughs> Don't worry. Once the thumpers are placed, we'll meet in the middle and we'll capture the monster together. Very well. All right. Thumper one done. Take care of my baby. It's a ship, Peter, not a child. Huh. Oh, can you imagine? <laughs> what, the pink goo? It's custom nano resin, designed to keep all this war stuff from floating away. Oh, uh, campus is at the top. Peter Quill. Okay. The insubordination of the assassin has become insufferable. I'm doing exactly what we planned to do. I'm thinking that big cylinder thing is our rendezvous. Yeah, that's the mining rig. So weird seeing it all clustered it's together like sentinel. this. Bits and pieces that's of a, a war that spanned right? the entire galaxy held together by 
That's what it looks like. Pink goo. From like, you know, Sentinel is the most recognizable like, in X Men. That's what it looks like in. to me, anyway. The heads were there. Okay. Looks like a Sentinel head. This is strange. I have not encountered any corpses in the wreckage. Oh, look! Yellow and blue. Looks like an old Nova Corps frigate. Nice. Come on, dude. Mm. People probably died on that ship. Killjoy. Why do you even bring us here if the place is so sacred? I can name at least a dozen planets with monsters on them. So don't know if you noticed, Rocket, but people aren't exactly falling over themselves to hire us. Oh, I have noticed. If this job pans out, mm. sure we'll get money, but also a rich new client. We need to impress Lady Hellbender with a monster she's interested in, not just any old critter. Which is why we should have gone after Fin yeah. Fang Foom. We won't have- Whoa! Okay. I'm okay! Ha! <laughs> Almost made yourself a very late war casualty. Not funny! <laughs> you know, I Back like this. Cars, this is fun. <laughs> The three of us. As you realize, this is like the third sci fi like game in a row I'm about to play. Before like Star Wars, you know us. Nia Thomas. Uh. I do not hate everybody. I tolerate Quill. Quill's a, a swell guy. I hope you get that promotion, Rocket. Are you calling me a bootlicker? I've seen you flatter your way out of Cree custody. She is winking. Careful on that thing, Quill. You spot something out there? No, not really. I heard Novacor once wanted to cover entire planets in Novanet, just like this place. Hostile mm. ones, I guess. Yeah, I wouldn't want the world mind picking and choosing. Most of my favorite planets would probably become jails. Huh? <laughs> Follow Walker. Whoa! Again, sure that audio is end. not exactly the best. Uh, you sure? Ah, there we go. Path this way. Come on. How can you even tell? Just trust me, all right? Hey, group. You think we could find pieces of the Trion shard in here? Yeah, it is a dead end. Uh, you happy, Quill? <laughs> you found the thing. I told you was there, but you didn't listen. That's it. Walk <sighs> of shame. <sighs> yeah. Of course he could know. Well, I'm, I'm a gamer. You done gloating? Oh, I am never done gloating. I am Groot. Yep. Classic See, why is the audio so delayed? Oh. I'm okay. Uh, I'm okay. <laughs> Didn't scare you, did I? No. Ah, you were worried. That's cute. Uh, that is cute. Both of you. Why is the audio so delayed? Is my question. Yeah, it's like a four second delay. Audio, master volume is fine. Sound effects fine. Music is fine. Stream and mode is on. Audio accessibility. Maybe it's because I got advanced studio reference home theater. Headphones. Maybe that's why. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna fix it. It's not still delete. I don't know why. No worries. Element again. Yeah. yeah, that is not fun. Yeah, uh, it's like the. I hate these ship eating parasites. Larkas would chew right through the Milano in two cycles. Optimal thumper placing distance should be just up ahead. <laughs> I'm thinking right in front through the giant hole where the ship's cockpit used to be. Well, that's grim. Journal. Oh, uh, 
Yeah, try not to think about it. It's better not to wonder what happened to anyone working on these old wrecks. It was a long time ago, anyways. Hmm. Just, uh, thought I saw a shortcut. shortcut. Right. Go ahead without me. Yeah. I'll catch up. Okay. There's a craft out Novacore missile bay just on the other side. We'll meet you there. Yellow and blue missile bay. Meet me Got there. it. <laughs> okay. Crawling through creepy old ship. No big deal. Easy there, Quill. Pretty no sure nothing's gonna jump out at you. <laughs> Except maybe me and Groot. How much of the war did you see, Rocket? Only the bits that happened as I was doing other jobs. Great thing about a war, nobody was paying much attention. Me and Groot could do pretty much whatever uh, we wanted. You fall into another hole, Quill? I'm, uh, assessing stuff. If all else fails, yeah. shoot something. Yeah. This brings back memories. There we go. Holy shit! Well, was that you? I shot something. Like Think you so. said. I've got away for Ooh, don't die, don't die, don't die. Yeah. Again, audio is Aww, hey, you little guy. super delayed. <laughs> Yeah, I'm using. Whoa, what the fuck? You dead quill? Oh, I saw the squeal even without the cops. Little busy. Crap, that's cheating. You guys should have seen that. It was this weird blobby thing. <laughs> Not blobby falling thing. for this again. <clears throat> wow. Yeah, all do is just. Popped another one. Okay. Okay, yeah, I have no idea how to fix the audio because there is like there seems to be an issue going on with it. Fantastic. Paul <laughs> nearly got himself eaten by a blob or something. Should have heard him squeal. You must fight with dignity, Peter Quill. Or at least die with it. Not funny. <laughs> Remember, these bumpers ain't gonna lure squat if wow. they're in the wrong place. I'm actually gonna replug in my HDMI for a minute. I want to see if that fixes any audio problems I have. Actually, I'm going to re open my capture card first. That doesn't fix it, then I'll replug the HDMI in. Okay. Okay, click over there. No, oh, press resume. Don't worry, Drax took notes. They are rich. Okay, it's actually synced up now. Okay. I guess and there was some kind of other issue I had. With it. <laughs> I thought I sorted that. It's good to be doing well. physical labor again. Kind of hard to believe you were a farmer, a warrior. Living the soil can be as satisfying as battle. Mm. Uh, Quill, we got a lot riding on your gal pal's mystery monster tip. I hope she's legit. Right, I can actually enjoy the game now. Like you could even tell if she had an honest face. If we set up all these bumpers and no monster shows, we'll just need to salvage what's crap. Mother and Scott! Whoa! Are you kidding me? Son of a smash! That was 
too close. You yeah. okay, Groot? Well, we're fine, but we can't jump that. No. You don't got it, dump. There's a sturdy support beam on this side. Get Groot to...